hi guys let us understand css with font how we can control the fonts in font we are having number of things like font size font family right i mean font face the font size font color and all so let us understand here if we talk about the font CSS font properties define the font family, boldness, size, and the style of text, right? So difference between serif and sans serif fonts, you can see here, sans serif, sans serifs. So serifs, red serif is here. So there's the two things we are having. One is the generic family and second is the font family. So if we talk about the group of font families with a similar look that is the like serif or serif sun serif right mono space and times new roman aerially we talk about this too so we can say it is a font family okay i, I just give you one example here you can see this <clears throat> somewhere you will find the font list right so font font style and size color and all right so if we talk about the Lucida, Lucida Bright, Lucida Calligraphy, Lucida Cancel, and Lucida Fax, Handwriting Sense. So if we talk about all these, we can say these are the generic font from the from the same family, right? But if we talk about the Lucida Bright, Latha, some other Kokila, right? Kartika. So it is a kind of font family. I hope you understood here, right? Okay, so font family, specific font family, like this, 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 okay. So let us understand here. The font family of text is set with the font family property. The font family property should hold several font names as a fallback system. If the browser does not support the first font, it try the next, it try the next. If next is also not available, then again next. So we can provide the list of the font and we can say these are the fonts can be used in this web page, right? Right. Start with the font you want and end with the generic family to let the browser pick a similar font in the generic family if no other fonts are available, right? So we can use that and we can put number of fonts in the one list. So here we are using font family, times human, times serif. We can give more here, right? In double quotes and we can put comma here. So if you want to find some babe safe font combination, you just go to the some some of the Google websites, okay, Google pages, and just find what are the safe font we have. So you can just give a comma and you can provide more than one font together, okay? So look at here this example. What I've tried here. So CSS font family. This is Times Roman. This is a Adl, right now let us view this source you can see this code here that is style type text css p serif font family times roman times serif sans serif i'm using here the class name Arial. first is Arial helvetica if Arial is not that it will take this one if it is not there it will take this one right so i'm using class serif sans serif set the second one so you find the difference here. First is the times Roman, second is the Arial, right? Okay. Now another is the font style. We can make take some kind of italic oblique little incline and the normal is there right so some other like bold and all so you can see here p dot normal i just made one say paragraph normal class and say font style normal font style italic so we can use any of this right let us see this example here So you can see this is normal, this is italic and this is oblique, right? 
now you can see the code here that what we are doing here so here I have say font style normal right and font style italic oblique so I'm using here class oblique class italic class normal so we are getting the effect here right you just notice the effect here so this is normal italic and oblique it's almost similar to italic only right now font size the font size property sets the size of the text uh, being able to manage the text size is important in a babe design however you should not use font size adjustment to make paragraph look like heading or headings look like paragraphs right you should not do that practice though the font size value can be an absolute or relative size so you can just give some size okay always use the proper html tags like h1 s6 paragraph tag okay so font size absolute size set the text to a specified size okay does not allow a user to change the text size in all browser so bad for accessibility reason right absolute size is useful when the physical size of the output is known relative size set the size relative to surrounding elements so according to the some other elements what are the size they are having it will take from that allow user to change the text size in browser so if you do not specify font size the default size for normal text like paragraph is 16 pixel and 16 pixel as we know equal to 1 em so this is the there are some kind of measurement we are having for the font so sometimes we can use pixel sometimes we can use em right sometimes percentage and all let us see this example here so you can see the heading is bigger bigger and then like just keep decreasing the size here just view the source here I am saying 40 pixel 30 pixel and 14 pixel so according to this font size I am getting the bigger size here in the output screen right so there are different concepts there are different kind of measurement we are having to avoid the resizing problem with Internet Explorer many developers use EM so if you're having size font size equal to 1 em and 2 em so it will not have a resizing so resizing problem is gone the em size unit is recommended by the w3c so there's a recommended unit for size so it is equal to 16 pixel okay the size can be calculated from pixel to em using this formula so pixel by 16 you can get that much em right so it is not a problem that how we can if you're saying 32 pixel okay just have a 2 em right so 2.5 em 1.8 em something like that you can give so once you can notice that earlier i have used some pixel 40 pixel right and 30 pixel and 14 pixel so i'm just dividing by 60 and getting some in the format of em so i'm using here 2.5 em like that right so the solution that works in all browser is to set a default font size is a percent for the body element so you can say body font size 100 percent and h1 h2 and p so 2.5 em and we can pass it here right so once we go to body and say font size 100 percent the problem will go resizing problem right so let me just check this example here
you can notice here we are using some em kind of things right isn't it so just right click and view source so i'm using this okay so next we have to understand the css font how to set the boldness how to set the variant of the font all the font properties in one declaration look at here the example so we'll see this example here view source now you can notice here we are having normal text right it is little lighter than the previous one and this is the bold right if you want more boldness we can pass the font weight 900 some numbers we can pass and we can get more bold here right okay the second one the variant you just look at here it's a very good example what we are doing a normal font variant normal here we are saying font variant a small caps means mix so you can see small caps it is just mixed set of characters right so first is a capital and rest is the small right here it is normal and you just have effect here right that is what font variant so we can write font in one declaration that is the shorthand how we can declare look it here so we can say font so we need not to say font size or and all just say font this is the size this is the font family right similarly more we have italic bold 12 pixel is the size 30 pixel is the height okay and this is a font so all we are specifying in once right this is the font sort hand okay and you find the effect here arial times roman we are getting now right good so you see font we can have a dismiss properties for the font right so we can say font style font variant and bit font size and line height we can specify here what is the line diff, uh, gap here right okay so font family we can give font family name or generic family font size we can use the font size like this small medium large extra large and even x large is there smaller larger we can give percentage here right and font style we can use italic oblique and all font variant we have seen the example and font weight 900 is the maximum so you can keep giving this numbers and the boldness will be more right see one more example with the css font property here we'll see from here now so look at this example same thing as i discussed here we are writing all together that is a shorthand of the font css font right okay so we understood the font family font generic family and all that it is so it help us to how to apply the font details font size font family and all okay so that's all about understanding the font with css and next we have to understand css uh, link how we can 
give effect to the link anchor tag okay